We might get the one and only Mr. John Kelly. Hi. Nice. See you later. I'll tell you something else. Yes. I've actually seen worse than the Sunday game. Now, <laughs> when in time we reflect on 2008, the predominant memories will perhaps be in direct contrast. As much as Tyrone deprived Kerry of a famous three in a row in football, Kilkenny hurlers will be acclaimed for their achievement in winning three All Ireland senior titles in a row, plus, of course, the Grand Slam this year. Now, clearly, the people of Kilkenny love their hurling, but despite all that success, winning the three in a row was very special. Drops it in dangerously, Brennan's in there, bounces away from O'Sullivan, bounces around to Fogarty, he's going to go! It's a great honour, I think for all the great people that have captain to Kenny down throughout the years, Brian Cody, all these men, um, and I suppose when, I, just, I was speechless when I was uh, appointed and it's just, it's a dream for every chap really. Not alone to play at Kilkenny, but for someday to captain, and, and that's what happened with me. I suppose or throughout the rest of the country, people were just looking at Cork, they, they didn't really acknowledge Kilkenny. But we, we, you know, as the year went on, we were slowly getting better, and we knew we had a big performance in us, and we produced that on the big day in, in the final. They were going for the three in a row, we hadn't done it in 2004, we failed. Um, it was a huge, huge incentive for us, but also it was an all Ireland final. Um, it was my first one, I, I, I was fierce, nervous, I was also captain, and you know, I hadn't had a great semi final, but you know, it just all went so well in the day. You know, to win it, stop Cork doing the three and and captain was even, you know, as another bonus. Dangerous moment is Eddie Brennan, let's fly! Obviously, my club bestowed the honour on me of being, being captain, and uh, it was a great honour for myself. Uh, you think during the year you get flashes driving along in the car or whatever that wouldn't it be great to be lifting the cup up in the Hogan stand in the first Sunday in September but uh, you kind of put it to the back of your mind because you want to concentrate on your job and that's to get on the team first and foremost and do your job for the team second of all. This is where you want to be and we all train, we all play sport to enjoy it and uh, if you can't enjoy being in Crow Park and the first Sunday in September you can enjoy nothing. It's on Larkin. No mistake. The management doing a terrific job. The most complete performance in an All Ireland final that I think I have ever seen. We were predicting um, a really tough match to go down to the wire, and even in, in our own minds, we thought that we might have to come from behind to win the All Ireland final. There's so many players there, and you're always kept on your toes to, to perform and uh, try and keep your own place. It's so difficult at times with, with, the, with, with the bench we have, it's just unbelievable. Even try, trying to pick the team for the, for the other in the final was incredible because so many lads were, were playing well and just hurling out their skins. Three and was in the back of everyone's mind, but um, it, it wasn't something we, we spoke about really. But, uh, but uh, deep down, uh, everyone knew that um, it was a great opportunity to, to go down in the history books. Um, but I suppose you have to break it down simply. You just worry about the match. Um, 70 minutes um, of, of hard, tough hurling, and if everyone gets the performance right on the day, the scoreboard will take care of itself. I know myself that I'd never get an opportunity of winning three in a row again, so this year was a driving ambition of my own. That's what we've had, and it's a, it's a great achievement, I think. We've it done now, and it's in the history books. It's, it's, it's what we wanted, and we got there. To be sitting here with Jackie and Henry, and uh, just after achieving what we have to achieve, it is unbelievable, and to be even mentioned um, amongst the top teams is. It's just a fantastic feeling. Three in a row is unique. It confers greatness on a group of players who achieve something out of the ordinary. To be captain of any of these teams is a huge honour. So we congratulate Jackie Tyrrell, Henry Shefflin and Char Fitzpatrick and thank them for joining us in Croke Park for those memories. May I now welcome the Minister for Arts, Sport and Tourism, Martin Cullen, the Chief Executive Officer of Vodafone Ireland, Charles Butterworth, and the President of the GA, Nicky Brennan. It's time to announce the GA Hurling All-Stars for 2008. Let us begin with the nominees for the goalkeeping position. The nominees are Brendan Cummins, Tipperary, Clinton Hennessy, Waterford, and PJ Ryan, Kilkenny.
The All-Star Hurling goalkeeper for 2008. He was dropped last year. He's from Tipperary. He's the All-Star goalkeeper 08. It's Brendan Cummins. Yes, quite a year for Brendan. This time last year, he wasn't even making the Tipperary team. Now he's uh, an All-Star for the fourth time, a first since 2003. Now, there are 18 nominees for six defensive positions. The first nine nominees are Michael Kavanagh from Kilkenny, Paul Curran of Tipperary, Shane O'Neill of Cork, Noel Hickey from Kilkenny, David Franks of Offaly, and Jackie Tyrrell from Kilkenny, Jerry O'Grady of Clare, Conor O'Brien of Tipperary, and Brian Murphy from Cork. So they are the first nine nominees. So the right cornerback all-star goes to Kilkenny's Michael Cavanagh. Michael's been a model of consistency over the years. He's played in nine All-Ireland Finals, and it's his second year in a row that he's been honoured. Another with four All-Stars. Michael Cavanagh gets the number two position on the 2008 GAA Hurling All-Stars. The full-back position goes to a Kilkenny man. It's Noel Hickey. Noel has come back impressively from injury to win a, a sixth All-Ireland medal last month and he's back on the All-Stars for the first time in five years. So just one position left in the full back line. That goes to, from the James Stevens Club, Jackie Tyrrell. Jackie is honoured for the second year in a row. So that's the entire full back line now dominated by the Cats. It's looking good for a big haul for the 2008 champions. With the goalkeeper and the full back line now completed, we move on to the half back line. The nine nominees are Tommy Walsh, Kilkenny, John Gardner, Cork, Shane Maher, Tipperary, JJ Delaney, Kilkenny, Sean Ogohalpin, Cork, Ronan Fallon of Dublin, Brian Hogan of Kilkenny, Tony Brown, Waterford, and Conor O'Mahony of Tipperary. The right half back position goes to, he's a Kilkenny man, it's Tommy Watts. That's six years in a row that Tommy has been included. Three in a row at half back, he's been corner back, midfield, and half forward as well. I wonder what he fancy playing in goal. So now who's centre back on the 2008 All Stars team? Tipperary man, Conor O'Mahony. And Connor is one of the successes of the year. He's played superbly for Tip all through the league and really hit the highs again in this year's championship. The left half back position goes to another Kilkenny man, JJ Delaney. JJ, who was hurler of the year five years ago, is one of the linchpins upon which this Kilkenny team has built. Wherever he plays, you can be certain of an absolutely assured performance. Now, there are six nominees for two midfield positions on this year's All-Star Hurling selection. Here are the nominees. Starting with Cha Fitzpatrick of Kilkenny, Brian O'Connell from Clare, Tom Kenny of Cork, Shane McGrath from Tipperary, Colin Lynch of Clare, and finally Derek Ling from Kilkenny. So now the first centre field position on the All-Stars team goes to Cha Fitzpatrick. Shah becomes the sixth Kilkenny cap to make the team so far, and we're only in midfield. The record, by the way, for any one county is nine. It's achieved four times in the past. Three in a row now for Shah. The question is, who will be Shah's partner at centre field? The number nine on the All-Star Hurling team for 2008 is from Tipperary, Shane McGrath. After so much of this year, Shane was the outstanding midfield talent. He's the third from Tip on the team. Nobody from the beaten finalist Waterford so far. They'd be very disappointed with that. There are 18 nominees for six forward positions. Here are the first nine. Beginning with Owen Larkin of Kilkenny, Ben O'Connor from Cork, Seamus Callanan from Tipperary, Jonathan Clancy of Clare, Brian Carroll of Offaly, and Richie Power of Kilkenny, Cahill Nocton from Cork, Lar Corbett from Tipperary, and Henry Shefflin of Kilkenny. So, right half forward on this year's team. A Cork man, Ben O'Connor. Man of the match against Clare. 12 points against Galway. Just two highlights and another one of a personal triumph for Ben, who's back on the All-Star podium for the first time in three years. 
So centre forward on the hurling All Stars team. He was full forward last year. He's a great hurler. It's Henry Shefflin. The most decorated of current players. Henry is winning an All Star for the seventh time. Level now with the great Noel Skehan, and just two behind the brilliant DJ Carey. So now, who is left half forward on the team? Kilkenny's Owen Larkin. What a year it's been for Owen. He returned from overseas duty with the Irish Army and got right back into his hurling career with remarkable success. Truly, he has arrived as a player of great stature. There are nine nominees for the remaining three positions on this year's hurling team. The nominees are Eddie Brennan Kilkenny, John Milan Waterford, Owen Kelly, Tipperary, Joe Canning, Galway, Niall Gilligan, Clare, Owen McGrath, Waterford. David O'Callaghan, Dublin, Aidan Fogarty, Kilkenny, and Owen Kelly, Waterford. The number 13 jersey on the All-Star team goes to, he scored 2-4 in the All-Ireland final, Eddie Brennan. Eddie becomes the ninth cat to win an All-Star, taking a level with two other Kilkenny teams in the past, and the Dublin footballers of 77, and Kerry of 81. Now can they make it 10? Now just two to go, who'll fill the full forward position on the team? That honour goes to... Waterford's Owen Kelly. At last, Waterford get into this team. Even after that 89 or two on that year's team. Owen was the Dacia's scoring sensation. 2-13, 1-8, 110, and 1-9 in the final. The last man to get an All-Star this year. He scored two goals and 12 points against Cork and Thurless. He's only 20. He's from Galway. Joe Canning. Well, he's been flagged from way back as the hurler with a huge future. I think that future is starting to become more the present. Joe, now an all-star, like Ollie, his brother, in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the GAA Hurling All-Stars team for 2008. <laughs> so like the football team, five counties are represented on this year's hurling selection. The All-Ireland champions Kilkenny have nine awards, which equals the all-time record. There are three from Tipperary and one each from Cork, Waterford and Galway. And four of this team are winning their very first All-Star Awards. of new boys as well including one Mr Joe Canning. Joe though how did you manage to cope with all that enormous amount of expectation in those young shoulders before you even started in the championship this year? I don't know I think it was all kind of in the in the media more so than that and I wasn't I didn't have much expectation of it and it just worked out okay in, in the end. And you had a brother there as well to kind of keep you on your toes? Yeah Ollie the, the old guy was there with the, a good bit of experience anyway to help me out whenever I wanted. Well, well done, you did great. As, as did this man beside you, who you didn't get a chance to test today. Brendan Cummins, congratulations. Marty mentioned it last year wasn't the best of years. Do you feel that you, you may have had a point to prove this year? No, not at all. I think everybody uh, who's on the stage behind me and who, who got nominated here tonight will feel that every year they go out onto the field, they have a point to prove. And I was happy to win back the number one jersey in Tipperary this year. There'll be another fight to keep it next year. I think that's the, that's the competitive nature that you have to have. And so much ahead for Tipperary as well as for Galway next year. Well done, two of you, Brendan and Joe. Well, I suppose the question that we might pose now is, what was 2008 really like? Was the view different from the sideline to the view from the RTE Sunday Game Studio? So on that note, would you please welcome Brian Cody and Mickey Hart, and also from our Sunday Game team, Anthony Daly and Anthony Toll. <laughs> Brian, Brian Cody, if I could uh, start yourself and ask you the first question is, are you going to go down and help uh, John Kenny with his team down there? Yeah, I'm available. All right, Michael. Um, certainly, Henry said we should enjoy these things, so that would certainly be an enjoyable experience. And the free pair of Weltons would come in handy. Anyway, well, and free Weltons.